What's up folks, I'm here at Harbor Freight. Full disclosure, this is actually my first time ever going to a Harbor Freight. I'm here to uh, return the boom for my damn shop crane and hopefully uh, get a fourth leg for my engine stand too, so we're gonna see how that works out. All right, well that guy walking away over there is helping me out. He got me another finger for my engine stand, so that's good, one problem solved. And he says he's got a floor model that should have the boom on it, so hopefully that one bolts together since it's on display. And uh, otherwise, we'll look around after that, but so far, mission 50% accomplished. Well, so check it out, we got a crane that the, the holes actually you know, line up, if I show you here real quick, let's see. But uh you can see through it. Woo! So that's pretty cool, pretty hilarious. So I was talking to the guy and I was like, I'm just wondering how many bad cranes they made, you know, like how many did the new guy on the job line up and drill wrong send out 50 bad cranes and he goes, oh, or yeah, you know, or the little kid who was working there didn't know what he was doing. I was like, Alright, we're gonna go back in his shop a little bit. Got the bargain bins here. Old bargain bins here. Impulse, impulse. Oh, I need hose clamps. Ah! This man beast, the guy who helped me out. Yes. <laughs> Pick up the reach tool. It's jacked. I guess, uh, what's that? Magnet? Pick up and reach tools. Pick up and reach tools. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Only three bucks. I guess all I'm getting today is an air hammer because the one I have is busted. And, uh, and we're gonna get some extra wire wheels for the quarter inch air grinder, and that that's about it. I just did a big order, so you wouldn't think I need to buy that much stuff, right? So, this is all. Stabbed at the old O'Reilly for a few things, but oh, nothing really for my car, mostly for this old beast. You know, I quit caffeine for a while, but I'm back on the wagon, if you didn't know. <laughs> This really cool caterpillar that's got some pretty colors Sorry. but apparently it's uh, a tree killing worm that likes to make those big webs and tree branches so I'm probably gonna feed him to a spider check it out the cranes actually together hold it together should actually work now all right ready for this Oh, come on, you know y'all would have done the same thing to test it. So I got the crane back together, but I also still have this four foot powder coated steel bar that I have no idea what it is. It's not the picture for the crane, not in the instruction manual. As far as I know, it wasn't supposed to be in there, but it was also pretty dusty when it came in the box, so... I don't know, but it's mine now. Alright, well this is supposed to be fairly easy to fold, so we'll see about that. Basically just pull the uh, arm up in, pull the retain up in. Like I said, it's supposed to be fairly easy. Well, that front hole is going to need a little modification, but it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever done, so... It works! And it folds. And it rolls. 
Hey everybody, I decided to step out into the garage just to film this last little bit. Felt like this vlog needed an ending. Um, so, I do have some kind of bad news on the Eclipse. You'll see that in a little vlog tomorrow. Um, I know I said it several times, but the transmission is actually ready to come out now. I just literally have to do, uh, like, the big bolts. So, the bolts that bolt the transfer case and the bolts that bolt the transmission to the block. So. While that's still a lot of work, it's like bolts that probably won't be completely seized and I can get to them, I have good access. So that'll be coming out tomorrow and then that video, I don't know, it may have to be split into parts because it's a lot of work. Obviously it's going to be five days total of taking out that transmission, which is sad, but it's the sort of job that if you did it in a garage, and especially if you've done it before, you could easily do it in a few hours, but given all the bodge jobs of the previous owner and some other stuff, you know, and lots of hiccups and waking up late, it took me a lot longer. Um, but, don't worry, the project isn't dead, it's just more extensive than I expected, maybe. Um, and, uh, but I'm really excited to solve the mystery of what exactly is wrong in the transmission slash starter slash flywheel area, and I know some of you are too. But yeah, I have some uh, viewers who I showed pictures to of, of the problem, and uh, they can corroborate, it's kind of screwed up. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, I did get my crane and my stand all figured out, pretty psyched about that. Yeah, that's basically all, so stay tuned, another video tomorrow. Uh, another 10 days of Wicked Big Me video coming after this one sometime tonight, and there will of course be another one tomorrow. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying that. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Appreciate it everybody. Have a good night.